for one of the frequent exercises that I do with my students is that I just have them slowly and gently, gradually raise an arm. So don't have to do it past the height of your shoulders, just up a little bit and look what happens because that is with many people, perhaps most people, just to raise the arm or even to think about raising the arm, this distance in here starts compressing and narrowing. This doesn't do you any benefit to have this compression. So just imagine every time you raise your arms to the steering wheel, raise your hands to the keyboard, or raise a beer to your lips, you're compressing in here, which like gives your lungs less room to breathe, you behave uh, less efficiently, effectively, usually if you've got all sorts of unnecessary tension and compression going on. So either sit or stand in front of a mirror or videotape yourself and just watch what happens when you just start to raise your hand. Just doesn't have to go beyond shoulder level because if you go beyond shoulder level this will compress has to anatomically, but uh, just uh, see what happens when you just raise your hand a little bit. Like so imagine you're raising your hands to the steering wheel, imagine you're raising your hands to the keyboard, just watch what happens. So what you can do, think about your length from your tailbone to the top of your head, sending direction this way. And then simultaneously think about your width across your chest, across your back. Think about your, your up and your widening. Then raise the arm. So when you're taking more thought about what you're doing, when you're taking more constructive conscious control of what you're doing, it has a dramatic effect on your use of yourself. So you can use yourself badly, you can have all sorts of weird tension patterns going on or compression, but uh, that puts you at a disadvantage and predisposes you to pain, less efficient breathing, thinking, feeling, sensory awareness, and uh, life will be a lot easier and happier if you let go of unnecessary tension. So just kind of watch what's going on here as you raise your hand, think about widening, and raise your hand. You see the difference when you think about widening across the chest and across the shoulders and across the back. Allow the neck to be free, directing the head gently forward and up, and dry.